Hi guys, Skitter Kev here. I have a wonderful new product for you. This is for all the property owners that have logging going on in the adjacent properties. It keeps loggers out, trees from falling on the property, skitters off their property, skid steers, even sawdust. Let me show you what I got right here, folks. Check it out. Yellow caution tape will keep you off their property. Look at, look at this. Oh, beautiful. This is beautiful stuff top notch today only buy one roll get another roll free for ten dollars but wait there's more i'll even throw in a can of orange spray paint and no trespassing signs only today call now for the next hour i'll even throw in a extra no trespassing sign and for those that feel real nervous real nervous about the loggers there you double it up, twice the strength. Keeps them even farther away. So, call now. I'll be waiting. All right, guys, for real, though. Um, we're logging this property. There's been three or four severed lots off here. They're like two acres a piece. So, this runs at least two sides. I haven't gone all the way to the other side. Um, runs out to the road that way. And along the back, it, everyone's arguing. We're just here doing our jobs. All our permits are in place. We're not harming anything. You can see we're on our side. Um, this property is owned by a farmer. And let me just tell you, never took off a farmer. They don't get mad, they get even. So if I was these landowners, uh, I'd really maybe be keeping my mouth shut. That's just me. For us, we're just doing our job, putting food on the table, roof over our head, you know, clothes on my kids' back. And mine and my wife's, but you know how it is. You know, he came out, he marked actually the orange, and he just put up these no trespassing because one neighbor was actually trespassing. Uh, kept coming onto the property. Doing this, if you gotta call the cops, you have it marked, clearly marked. Now it's even clearer. But that's how it goes sometimes. I Sometimes you get good neighbors, other times you don't. It's, you know, they wanted us to put a 50 foot buffer. Well, that just makes me want to cut even closer. You know, we're doing a good thing. We're, we're removing dead um, emerald ash borer killed ash. Here it is. This stuff's just, it's still got leaves this year but this will probably be the last year for it and it'll be done um they've just grabbed a hold of this bush you can see in decline so you know what do you do um up here you can see <clears throat> we took a lot of wood out it's wide open but that's what you do this soft maple in here will come back like nobody's business this will be beautiful um, the last time this property was logged, it would have been all this, apparently, because these lots weren't severed then. It's back in around 19, late 1950s, so there's not even a stump to be had. But, there's even, there's decent soft maple on this property, you know. And they've got ash there too, so. But, that's their problem, and they can deal with it. But, where we're working right across the road is where we did that ass job in the winter um, we first started using that buncher head and we had all those phone calls from the people over the residents over there they were friggin mad yeah i don't know what it is with this town they just they don't like us and you know we're doing a good job it's it's crazy i just ah <sighs> It gets frustrating sometimes, you know, people just don't understand. We're actually, you know, the one owner, property owner here, neighboring property. It's like, why don't you just leave it? Well, for all the ash we've taken out, out of here, I don't know how many trees. This is probably average size. You know, that's a decent stick right there. Imagine a bush of this stuff that's dead. And coming down and I mean like full uh, this little bit we've four there's probably four and a half loads we got out now it's 
there's a lot of wood jammed in here. And it'd be like somebody just took a handful of them and dropped them on the bush. They'd just be hung up everywhere. It'd be, it'd be super unsafe. I wouldn't even want to walk in it. And it becomes a waste of a woodlot. And you're see more destruction that way than, you know, controlled felling. You know, hand felling. Uh, we use the buncher in there a bit, obviously. Um, here, there is um, bean fields right there. Big ditch. Uh, we have a skid road there, and then our property width, which isn't very wide, mixed with soft maple. So I got a hole in here now, and we're just pushed everything that way, and then we're going to come all this stuff in here. We'll come back this way. But Yeah, there's, you know, good property owners and bad property owners. And that one just got home. I can see the car lights. Oh boy, here we go. Sure he'll be out here yelling at us. He already yelled at my boss and I had the GoPro going in the uh, skid steer. But you couldn't hear him. You couldn't make out what they were saying. But he blasted my boss pretty good. Well, he was trespassing at that. So that's the end of that. Signs are up. They can get off. Um, the other thing is safety. You have people walking around. You know, even if you're trying to stay off this property rotten butt in this stuff there's some pretty bad seams in them it goes the wrong way you know you don't want anybody getting hurt or people sneaking up on you i don't know i just uh i hate that you know you got a head on a swivel on jobs like these anyway here comes the boss with uh my fuel that is what i'm waiting for that's why i'm talking to you now but and our log truck driver's up there uh throwing a load on so uh, yeah, he is. I can see him up there. Anyway, I'll be back. machines skidding we cut all day or all morning in the back stockpile everything bring it up stack it anyway hope you all enjoyed that please like comment and subscribe thanks everyone